Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sanket Singh. I'm working as a software engineer at Google. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about whether you should learn system design if you are a fresher or not. A lot of time, a lot of students actually ask me this question that should we learn system design? Is it really necessary? Is it really used in actual day-to-day -day work? Are there a lot of interviews where we can be asked questions on system design and whatnot? So we are going to have a very in-depth discussion in this particular video where I'm going to share you my own experiences where I was asked system design questions as a fresher and what is my opinion on the fact that whether you should try to learn system design or not. So without any further delay, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. We are going to bring some very awesome content on this particular channel. And without any further delay, let's just start. So before we move forward, I would like to tell you about algocamp.io. So if you are someone who is willing to learn programming from scratch in let's say Java or JavaScript, right? Or if you are someone who is preparing for their interviews, then algocamp.io can be one stop solution for you, right? You can see on algocamp.io, there are a bunch of courses regarding data structures and algorithms in JavaScript. So let's say if you are a front-end engineer who is aspiring to become a front-end engineer and preparing for interviews where you will be asked questions in DSA and the main language that you use is JavaScript, then this can be a really good course for you. Apart from that, you can see there is a dedicated course on mastering Java with backend in Java in Spring Boot along with system design, right? You can see all of the concepts regarding basic Java, then data structures and algorithms in Java and Tons and tons of problem solving is actually present there. You can see more than 400 problems you are going to solve in this particular batch. There is going to be more than 300 hours of hybrid content. Some content will be coming recorded. Some content will be coming live. You can see we are going to talk about all of the important data structures, including segment trees, heaps, graph algorithms, dynamic programming, all of the things. Apart from that, there will be additional uh, computer science fundamentals like computer networks and database okay. management system as well. right? Apart from that, there will be dedicated lectures on Spring Boot that how you can actually make good backend applications with Spring Boot. And there are going to be more than 10 projects that you are going to do actually in this particular batch. You are also going to be introduced with low level design, with different design patterns, as well as high level design where you will talk, where we will talk about problems like how you can design a system like Uber or how you can design something like URL shortener and whatnot. You can see the price of the course is 4200 and this is, uh, this is something that we have kept very affordable. And in fact, if you will use the coupon code ALGOCAMP500, you will get 500 instant off on this particular course. You can see the instructors for the course is Ria Bansal, who is actually a software engineer at Microsoft. She has previously worked with Flipkart. I'm also going to assist her in this particular course. So you can see the mentor side of the course is totally sorted. The price we have kept is very competitive, considering that you are going to learn data structures and algorithms, system design with design patterns and high level design as well as backend development in java right so this is one power pack course that you can definitely opt for so you can check out algocamp.io for more such interesting stuff i have made a dedicated video on what you can expect with this java course and overall in algocamp.io you should definitely check out that i will link all of the things in the description section below so don't forget to actually check that out and now let's just move forward with our current video so while preparing for interviews, a lot of people actually think that should they focus on system design or is just data structures and algorithms only necessary thing, right? So let me give you first of all my take on this and then I will also share you my experiences, what I was asked with respect to system design in different companies. So a lot of times it happens that nowadays people solve 400, 500 questions on lead code and think that they are interview ready. But trust me, I have one very straightforward and one very strict opinion on this. Every company wants good engineers, someone who can actually understand the problem they are trying to solve, understand the tech stack they are working with. They just don't want uh, any interview cracker who can just solve any 500 lead code questions, but cannot build stuff out of problem solving, right? It becomes extremely necessary for you to have an engineer kind of an attitude rather than uh, interview cracker where you not just understand how to solve problems, but you also understand that how to build systems that can actually solve those problems, how to build products, right? That 
is going to make you a wholesome engineer. So that being said, understanding how systems work, how do you design scalable system becomes very necessary. Even if you actually join as a fresher, of course, nobody is going to ask you to write design docs or nobody is going to ask you to design or architect a complete design end to end for a system. But you will be involved in a lot of meetings, you will be involved in a lot of dis design discussions where senior engineers are again going to come up daily or maybe weekly these meetings happen and they are going to come up and show what they are going to design for a particular system. Maybe you are going to make a logging mechanism or a monitoring system, anything corresponding to that or there is a new product that is going to be released. There will be design discussions happening and if you won't be having good knowledge around system design then you will feel that a lot of terms look a lot alien to you that is the most necessary thing that actually makes system design most important to learn right i'm not saying that you should leave everything and start learning system design again it depends on how much knowledge of development you already have how much system design articles or videos you have already seen but my point being that don't be someone who is going to like absolutely skip system design and just focus just on data structures and algorithms right because once you start becoming part of these meetings and start understanding the business logic then you, one day after six months or an year you might also be asked to design write a design doc or design a particular system or solve a particular problem at that point of time your current knowledge of system design as well as whatever knowledge you gained in those dis design discussion meetings is going to be extremely extremely helpful this is my first take on why definitely you should learn system design now apart from this the most important thing is that nowadays companies have also started asking system design in their interviews i was asked system design based questions in sprinkler bloomberg as well as linkedin right in sprinkler actually it was a front end system design question where i was asked to design a flowchart looking like a flowchart preparation of app right where you can actually drag and drop shapes and you can actually connect multiple shapes the lines that you are connecting with should not intersect with each other so this whole design of a front end i had to do it was not around how will you make it beautiful or something but how will you actually achieve the actual coding or engineering of this kind of an application so you can see that even with me in a front end interview system design questions were asked apart from that in bloomberg as well i was asked system design questions i still remember the question that i had to design a notification service which used to send a notification based on whenever you actually get an uptick after a particular threshold on a stock so what a user can do user can actually set up uh, an alert that if the stock price go beyond this threshold or below this threshold then i'm going to get a notification and you know right like in stock uh, trading kind of platforms and these kind of designs the data the incoming data is on a very high scale so we need to maintain a very scalable and a robust system so this kind of a notification mechanism we i had to build right just for uh, fun fact i was able to clear the interview and eventually get the offer as well but this was one of the most grilling system design interviews that i actually gave and apart from both of these i was asked system design of how you can actually design top k trending tweets as well as Facebook feed system design to, to uh, design questions I was asked in LinkedIn's interview. And all these three interviews were for a SD1 role. Two of them, that is Sprinkler and LinkedIn, was absolutely for a zero, zero year experience. And the one that was in Bloomberg was for one year experience. So you can see relatively a fresher profile and still they were asking me system design. Apart from that, even in companies like Grofers, I was asked to design a database for a particular application right it's not absolutely system design high level design question but yes design database also is uh, one good chunk of a topic when you actually start learning system design so you can see even like with me there were a lot of instances when i was asked questions around system design that's why i would also highly recommend you guys to learn because you don't want to be in a situation that you prepared so hard so like what 500 600 lead code questions and then when it was the chance to show actual engineering knowledge when you can show them that can you build systems or not that was the round when you actually got rejected from so this is going to be something extremely important that you should learn now apart from all of this apart from your interviews where you will be asked system design questions or the design discussions that you are going to be part of where you will require some knowledge of system design in order to understand what those discussions are going on even system design is going to be helpful for you in your day-to-day -day work when you're actually going to contribute to a product maybe it can be a very engineering heavy product or it's a user facing product whatever you are actually going to do there will be a lot of jargons that you have to actually go through for example publisher subscriber 
model or caches or messaging queues these are some of very simple terminologies and components that are used in very different type of system design uh, i would say terminologies right so when you will start reading a lot of system design articles you will actually go through all of these jargons and you will understand okay what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of that and then when you will actually start the application of this when you will actually start implementing all of this everything will start making sense it will not be absolutely new to you so when you will actually contribute to the project your contributions will be at a much higher scale they will be more significant and you will face less blockers as compared to as compared to someone who has absolutely no knowledge of system design because whatever you learn in system design can be actually applied in real life development for example you might read that okay uh, in a system design article you will see that uh, a particular dev team actually put some caches so that they can serve a particular type of data which was get, going to get queried again and again there can be a situation that you have to implement a cache for your own product as well right if you see uh, system designs of how you can design an application like uber and then you can see there are a lot of companies that are doing something similar to uber for example you can take an example of rapido or ola right and then even the food delivering applications somehow somewhat these delivering mechanism is going to be similar to what uber does in case of allocating a driver because when you order food some rider is get gets all allocated to you yes the algorithm is different because first the rider has to go to the restaurant and then come towards you there will be changes in the algorithm but how the pooling mechanism actually works can be a bit similar to what actually uber does so understanding how these big systems have been prepared is going to be extremely important for you to work in let's say a very small startup or a very early stage startup and even in different companies as well because you never know that what kind of problem you will be working on and what that problem has like is there any al already a very good solution for that problem or is there any solution that you can actually refer to in order to solve that problem so the this these kind of important things actually makes system design one of the most important things that you should definitely learn generally if you are in college you have like 4 years so it's not like you have very less time so it makes sense to actually explore all of these things yes you should spend time in actually solving hard dynamic programming problems but when actually you will be part of a dev team knowledge of system design is going to be equivalently important when compared to data structures algorithms and other computer science fundamentals and in system design some computer science fundamental topics like operating system and computer networks is also used for example let's say there are two services and you have to understand that how those two services should interact with should they interact with the rest call or should they interact with the rpc call now all of these concepts you might have already learned in computer networks so my point being that all of these things are interconnected it's not like one thing is more important one thing is less important it's not like if you're a front end engineer you should not learn system design or if you're a back end engineer you should not learn system design system design is important for everyone and i believe have if you are an engineer who has knowledge of system design you will be definitely preferred in an interview because your answers will be much more polished it will look like that you have worked on yourself in upskilling yourself as an engineer and things are going to be pretty good for you in terms of your career as well that being said i'll wrap up this video here i hope you got a good opinion on whether you should try to learn system design or not i tried to share that uh, all the instances when i was asked system design interviews uh, in in interviews and was i able to answer like generally all the three interviews that i mentioned i was able to crack an offer there so i was prepared for these kind of questions and i would highly recommend you guys also to start learning system design as soon as possible once you start learning these once you start learning the learning from the tech blogs of all these companies or you start watching youtube videos you will yourself understand that how much there is to learn in dev rather than just making a http server and making crud apis and how all of these big systems actually work you will yourself get a lot of uh, i would say enthusiasm to actually try to drill down every single application okay how they are working how that that application is working how this application is working let's just wrap this particular video here we are going to meet soon in next set of videos if you like this video please don't forget to drop a like and if you have any suggestions if you have any topics that you want us to make video on please drop that in the comment section we would be happy to prepare videos on that that being said uh let's just wrap this particular video here also do check out algocam.io if you have not yet checked it out we have some awesome courses launched on algocam.io so they are going to be really helpful for you in order to upskill yourself and grow in your career i am sanket saying guys i'm signing off meet you in some next video